In 2022, I got my PlayStation 5, and I did not get another game for four months. So what did I spend all my time playing? Well, it's a little tech demo called Astro's Playroom. Man, Astro's Playroom, in my opinion, has now become the definitive tech demo for a console. If any video game company is looking to make a tech demo for their console, next time, take inspiration from Astro's Playroom because this is the definitive way. It's such a fun mini platformer. It shows perfectly what the controller, the DualSense can do. So, so many fun environments, a lot of like collectibles. Like This can keep you busy for a good amount of time. It definitely kept me busy for four months before I bought another game. So obviously when the Astro Bot, the full game, was revealed, I was ecstatic because I had really grown to love Astro Bot and I've always like told myself from May until now, like, okay, I'm gonna play this when it comes out. Funny enough, it comes out tomorrow and the reviews have started, have started pouring in and they've been, they've been almost perfect. Like 10, 10, like 9, like 9.5, 10, like, and, Me and Metacritic, it's like a 94 or 95%. Like, this game is getting a lot of praise, with many people calling it a masterpiece. And, like, I've definitely experienced it. Like, like it's probably, like, with the hype as well. Like, this is the most hyped I've been to, to play a 3D platforming game since, like, Super Mario Odyssey. And that was seven years ago. So yeah, safe to say, I want to play this game when it comes out so bad. I feel like with this game getting all of its high reviews, it's definitely setting in on the fact that, yeah, Astrobot might become a full franchise at this point. And the developer who makes the Astrobot games will probably become like a top tier development team within like two years from now, mark my words. But yeah, overall, Astrobot looks incredible. Like I've seen almost every trailer and I've seen like the gameplay from the reviews. It looks... I'm surprised to hear that a game that looks this good is that it did not have a single frame drop throughout the entire thing. That is unbelievable. Like for some reason, I don't wanna believe that, but I guess I'll have to find out for myself. And here's a hot take. I truly believe that this game, if this game sells well, which I, th which I really hope it does, and it's also loved by those casual players and not like like their viewers and like big like uh, gaming nerds like me then i'm telling you now this game might be in the conversation for best 3d platformer of all time like many reviews are saying it like i watched the good vibes gaming a review earlier today and they were giving it non-stop praise and same with ign they were giving it a good amount of praise uh so yeah the this thing is just unbelievable so many like perfect reviews i like i've never seen this for like an indie developer before like it's crazy the last time i've seen this for a like any developer was probably when like I, I remember elden ring getting like perfect reviews like it won the game of the year uh, and I remember getting like nonstop 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 like around that range but Astrobot is doing the same like and it's and their reviews have just come out like today so it's very very impressive like I don't know what else to say about this game it looks like a masterpiece people are saying it's a masterpiece like their reviews say that and this game is gonna sell well at least from the way it looks like because Sony have marketed this game a lot uh, during the past couple of months to a point where I was I, I was going to talk about this game months ago. I was planning to make a YouTube short about this thing back when it was first revealed. But, you know, better late than never. We're here now and I'm talking about it and I'm saying I am ready to pick this game up tomorrow and play it. And I know for a fact I'm 99% going to love it. Peace.